Um, what happens when people then uh, get these problems in the mesencephalon? I do allow increased blood, blood pressure, increased heart rate. Depending on its right or left side, you can get the arrhythmias. Um, and you measure people's heart rate, and you'd be surprised how many people have heart rates in their 90s, and it shouldn't be. And these people have increased sympathetic activity, and sometimes it's from an overfiring mesencephalon being driven maybe from the cerebellum on the other side and some, some uh, somatic uh, activity driving the other side of the body, driving the cerebellum. And um, uh, it's, it's complicated um, uh, mire, you might say, you could get into, you get really mired down it. But the protocol that we have put together takes all this into consideration. And the techniques are put together in order to kind of protect so that when we treat the patient further down the line, we've already protected the mesencephalon by treating steps 9, 10, and 11. And when we did sessions 6 and 7, we talked about how when we treated the immune system and chat, rub Chapman's reflexes that we would cause an, an inhibition into the mesencephalon from the hypothalamus. And the net effect was changing pupillary reflexes, so we demonstrated that. And so what we've done in steps 9, 10, and 11 is built in an inhibition to the mesencephalon so that future activity we might do which would stimulate the mesencephalon wouldn't drive the patient to increase sympathetic activity to the point of danger. So sticking steps 9, 10, and 11 in and doing that to protect the patient as well as improve the immune system and correct the cranials and TMJs and whatever, um, those steps are extremely important in also setting up the patient for future stimuli that you give it um, that would otherwise maybe drive, if you didn't do that first, would drive this sympathetic driven mesencephalon to, to high level. And you increase the pulse and you increase the blood pressure after treatment and things like that. So you're getting that effect, maybe an increase in the patient's stress. So that's another reason why treating those steps 9, 10, 11 in the immune system is so important neurologically.